Good morning, Logan High School. I'm Gabriel Herrera. And I'm Connor Woodruff, reporting for WLHS TV. Logan High School's largest organization headed to the state's capital recently to compete in several different competitions. Now, Gabe, I understand you attended this event. Well, as a matter of fact, I did, Connor. We brought home lots of awards and we had a lot of fun. Here's the full report. The Logan High School Beta Club, 120 students strong, took their talents to the Charleston Civic Center in a statewide competition featuring schools all across the mountain state. BetaCon is a statewide convention that features competitions in such categories as the arts, languages, technology, problem solving, academics, and entertainment. One group told us what they competed in. So we competed in a talent show called Living Literature where we acted out a scene from The Hunger Games. The group brought to life the reaping scene from Suzanne Collins' famous novel, The Hunger Games. A member of a more hands-on competition gave us some insight into what his group's task is. My name is Hunter Hill and I'm in Beta Build and they haven't told us what we're doing but we have to find out a complicated way to do something simple. The group's ultimate goal was to find the most difficult way to get a marble into a cup. A member of the show choir gave us his thoughts on the competition. I'm in character skit, group talent, and show choir, and I think we winning because the other schools ain't got nothing on us. The show choir sang an a cappella cover of the song Stand By Me. Former Beta Club Vice President Hydea Bartley gave us her thoughts on leaving office this year. I'm excited, but at the same time, I'm sad as well because Beta is fun. It's been a great year, and I just wish it wasn't ending already. But, you know, I'm excited for the new person to come in office so they get to experience what I got to experience. Logan High School's own Heather Mead ran for Beta Club's state office, ultimately winning Vice President and replacing Hydea Bartley. In Heather's campaign speech, she said the following. Beta Club is about being the best you can be. It is filled with diverse people that are our future, and we can use our small actions to make great change. During the award ceremony, Logan High School had students place in the following categories. Beta Build, Advertisement Design, Technology, Character Skit, Poetry, Living Literature, Spanish, Math, Creative Writing, Social Studies, and Agriculture. Congratulations to all the winners at Betacon. I'm Gabriel Herrera reporting for WLHS TV. Beta Club will have a meeting today in the Little Theater during the first lunch. It was 30 years ago when LHS last hosted a band competition on its home field, and Colby Kenny brings us all the highlights. Nearly 1,000 band students participated in Sounds of the South on Middleburg Island. Bands started arriving by bus as far away from Kentucky and began playing at one. It marks the first time LHS has hosted a competition in over three decades. The event kicked off at 1 p.m. and lasted throughout the day with awards at 7 p.m. Shortly after a third band started playing, the weather began to kick in. However, the bands played on. We spoke to some of the people that helped out with the competition Saturday. I believe this was a great way to bring the community back together and it was just a good idea because it seems like everybody's having a good time and it was just a good idea to bring it back. Yeah, I think this was a really good idea for, for not only us as band members, but for the whole community. Okay, so I, you know, I think this is pretty cool. It's the first one we've had in a while and you know, all the bands are having fun. So, you know, it's, it's pretty worth it to do it again. I think it's a fabulous opportunity for Logan to host this because we're a smaller band compared to what everyone else would be in other parts of West Virginia. And I think it's an amazing opportunity to get our name out there, especially for being a very small band. You know, we've really had a good day today. A bunch of bands are here. They've all had a good time. Right now, you can probably hear the crowd over me. We've really had a good time, and it was a great success. Some band members from other schools also said what they thought about the competition. I'm Chris Blake and I play the tuba for the Calvin Midland Munching Knights and we came, this is our first time coming to this competition because it hasn't been held in a while and I'm kind of excited. The, the field looks really good, it looks really new and I think we have a decent chance of winning. There's Richwood and Scott High School which is right over there. I think that they're going to get up there with us. Hello, I'm Zach Backus from Cabo Midland. Um, 
Uh, I've, we've never been to this competition before, and this is our last one before we go out of state to perform a BOA, and uh, I think we might do okay, because, well, we're okay band. I mean, 150 state champs. Woo! The top band award went to Cabell Midland High School. Congratulations to Cabell Midland for the great win. I'm Colby Kinney reporting for WLHS TV. Hey, Connor, you cleaned up nicely for the homecoming dance. <laughs> Why, thanks, pal. But the local community got a first-hand look at Logan High School's finest, and Kevin Bryant acts as our special homecoming correspondent. Homecoming Fest series recently wrapped up this week on Middleburg Island. The entire community of Logan came out for a parade that featured Logan High School band, sports team, military club, attendants, and local businesses, with the event being led by Mayor Serafino. It's always a great day in, in the city here when, when Logan has homecoming. You know, just the great atmosphere, uh, seeing all the kids and the parents, and uh, just a great atmosphere. Mr. Gobby, the organizer of the parade, claims it's a great way to show what Logan High School has to offer. Where our school can showcase its finest, and uh, it gives uh, the kids a time of uh, working together, a uh, time of fun and activities that uh, don't take place but once a year. Homecoming is not just a special occasion for people at Logan High School, but also benefits the community. I feel it's important to the community because it gets the whole entire community together and it just uh, gives everybody a chance to come out and have some fun and not have to worry about anything such as religious or political affiliations. We can just have a good time as a community and as a group. Uh, I think the parade's a great thing to show our school's spirit and Logan County and what we can do as a community. And I'm glad I'm in it this year. I absolutely love the homecoming parade. I love waving at people and seeing their faces when we throw candy to them. And I think it really shows that everybody comes together and can support one whole big production. This will make the homecoming event so much better because it's just fun and creative and everybody gets into this. The parade was also a reward for students who have been working hard this year. Um, I think it's important because it kind of gives a chance for people who've worked hard so far this year to show off and have fun. Everybody gets to kind of show off what they did. Officers show off what they won. Different teams can come out from different events, different sports. Just kind of a good way to show off. You get to showcase Logan High and you know all the good students and all the athletes and stuff and it helps bring awareness to you know what teams need money and funding and stuff. Later that evening the Logan High School football team held their annual homecoming game against Scott. With such a close game, halftime served as a period of rest as the Logan High School homecoming queen, Stephanie McLeod, was crowned along with Mr. Wildcat, Matt Brown. Afterwards, the Wildcats won 30-27 to against Scott. WLHS-TV hopes the community and students alike enjoyed this homecoming season. I'm Ken Bryant reporting for WLHS-TV. Tickets will be on sale today for tonight's game. Logan High School students gave a short amount of their time this week that can go a long way next week. Connor Woodruff has all the details. Logan High School 11th and 12th graders had the opportunity to give back the greatest gift during a school-wide blood drive. The event was held in conjunction with the American Red Cross in the Student Center this past Friday. Students age 16 and older had the opportunity to give back to those in need. I get to save lives and just help out a lot of people who may need it. Giving blood helps those in need. It helps those that don't have the necessary blood they need or if they're losing some, so it's always nice to give back to the community. We definitely need more blood to be given, especially those with universal blood tops. So I think it's for a really good cause, and everybody that is able to donate, I promote it. I think giving blood helps everyone, no matter what blood type you are, because there's always someone out there who can use your blood. Ms. Bennett, the senior civics teacher behind the event, spoke on why the blood drive is needed. Each donation can affect seven lives and it does save three lives. So for our senior civics, it's just teaching everyone to give back, to give to other people, and to make a difference here at Logan High. At the end of the day, 56 total Logan High School students donated alongside 10 community members, making a collaborative 66 units of blood. WLHS-TV hopes students participate in charitable causes. I'm Connor Woodruff reporting for WLHS-TV.
The National Honor Society will have a meeting in the Little Theater during the second lunch today. And speaking of lunch, what's on the menu today, Gabe? Lunch today is pepperoni rolls. I'm Gabriel Herrera. And I'm Connor Woodruff, reporting, reporting for, for WLHS-TV. WLHS -TV.